I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about physical applications of the integral. In problem number 19, um, <clears throat> we want to suppose a force of 30 newtons is required to stretch and hold a spring 0.2 meters from its equilibrium position. Uh, part A says, assuming Hooke's law, find the spring constant K. Uh, part B, how much work is required to compress the spring 0.4 meters. Part C, um, how much work is required to stretch the spring 0.3 meters. And finally, part D, how much work is required to stretch the spring from 0.2 meters from its equilibrium position to 0.4 meters from its equilibrium position. So we've got four parts here. Uh, let's start with part A. So part A is just referring to Hooke's law that says that the force uh, required uh, to move something to x is equal to some constant k times x. And in this case, uh, we said that um, to stretch it to 0.2 takes 30 newtons. So that means that the force at 0.2 is equal to k times 0.2, which is equal to 30 newtons which is 30. So k times 0.2 is equal to 30. So k is equal to 30 divided by 0.2. Uh, and 30 divided by 0 0.2, it, uh, 0.2 is 1 fifth. So this is 150 would be our k. So we've got part A done. Uh, I think I'll just erase that now and we'll move on to part B. Okay, so in part B, we know now that the spring constant is 150. We want to know how much work is required to compress the spring 0.4 meters. Okay, compress means push it back into negative territory, not pull it forward into positive. So our work in this case is equal to, we're starting at zero, but then we're pushing it back, compressing it to minus 0.4. And then in here we have our force. Well, the force we know now is K times X and K in this case is 150 times X dx. Uh, so we can take an antiderivative here. The antiderivative of 150x would be 75x squared evaluated from 0 to negative 0.4, which is equal to, uh, we could plug in the negative 0.4 and we get 75 times negative 0.4 squared. Of course, if I plug in 0, I get 0. And then we get 75 times uh, 0.16. And uh, I'll leave the final punching that into a calculator to you. We get 75 times 0.16. And of course, this is uh, an answer in joules. In part C, um, we're asked how much work does it take to stretch the spring out to 0.3 meters from the equilibrium position. And so uh, work in this case is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to 0.3 of this same force, which is 150x dx. The antiderivative of 150x is 75x squared evaluated from 0 to 0 0.3. Uh, we plug in the 0 0.3 here and we get 75 times uh, 0.3 squared is 0 0.09. And then 75 times 0 0.09 is uh, 6.75 joules. So that's the answer to part C. Uh, now let's look at part D. In part D, we want to now stretch uh, the spring 
from point two to point four. Uh, so in part D, we want to know how much work does it take to stretch this thing from point two away from equilibrium to point four away, away from equilibrium. Uh, and that's the force function is still 150 times x dx. Take the antiderivative, we still get 75x squared evaluated from point 2 to point 4, which is 75 times. If I plug in point 4, I get 0.16. And if I plug in point 2, I get minus 0.04. So we get that 75 times 0.12. And if we actually do that on our little calculator, that just gives us nine joules. And we're done.